Hello everyone, Haunted by Haunted, Mark here, coming to you from another spooky location. I uh, covered a video, did a video on this though, a while back in the early springtime. This is the Kings Creek Cemetery. This is in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. And this essentially is a cemetery that has been reclaimed by nature for the most part. Um, it's very deceptive here right now because let me pan up towards the trees. It is basically a wall-to-wall -wall sunshine day here, morning here. And I drove down this road to get here. And these woods are so thick here that you can't even tell that it's bright and sunny out. There's the sun up there. Kind of an ominous sense of darkness hovers over this cemetery here. Yeah, but it is much more overgrown than it was back in the springtime when I was here last. Um, the video I took before, I remember I, we were just um, starting to have the buds on the trees. It's really shaded. I'm amazed how shaded it is over here in broad daylight. Literally a cemetery in the middle of the woods. a lot of uh, graves here that have flags on them for those who served but I mean look at this you got a grave over there that has a flag on it and literally would have to walk through the grass to get to it to the weeds Look, I almost need a light on my camera in broad daylight. These are some tall, tall trees that are here. There's uh, some more grave markers that are back into the woods a little bit. And it's much, much cooler over here because of this persistent shade. Watching where I step here, I don't want to encounter any poison ivy. Move back up here. Yeah, in the other video I did, I forgot to mention that, um, 
after doing some research, there used to be a church that was actually adjacent to this cemetery that was torn down a long, long time ago. I can't remember the exact date. This is a very unique grave here that's actually into part of the tree trunk here. The tree trunk has literally literally grown around the top of this headstone. I see the date of 1828, but I believe that's when he was born. Or not, it might have been when he died. It's an old stone, regardless. It's one of the more unique features here. I guess I figured I would do a video over here. Um, I actually captured EVP several years ago, whenever I was out here, and really unexplainable, because as you can hear, it's just in the middle of the woods. This random voice came across, which didn't really... We gotta fix this. deceptively wet but not very hard or not very hard to drive the flag post into there we go it goes right up on the right up on the uh, headstone actually based on it Relatively small cemetery, but very cool little place to travel to, just to see. It's very unique. And I feel like the lighting's not the best right now to do this video, but like I said, it's broad daylight. And you would never guess it by looking around. Like I said, it's much, much cooler in here as well and damp. Let's see another one up here. That. Ground is rock hard. I see why these flags were leaning. That's not going to hold. Sorry if I'm putting this very close to your grave. This is Mr. James Leeper. Just trying to fix your flag here. Yeah, that's one of the sad things about this. You have people that come out here to place flags, but nobody really maintains it. Kind of a kind of a 
kind of uh, left to nature. Pretty much people come along to get the honor system and fix the flags as they see them, as they've fallen. Do one more uh, panoramic shot. There's a flag up there as well, Graveway in the woods. Very beautiful area though here in western Pennsylvania. This is actually part of Raccoon Creek State Park. So I guess it's not completely abandoned. But it's definitely been reclaimed by nature, as you can see. All right, well, I'll head back down here to the entrance. Kings Creek Cemetery in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. I have to uh, pull that up and include that here on my channel sometime, the EVP I captured here. I honestly can't even remember what it says off the top of my head. But I'll have to post that at some point. Or if I return here again sometime. Tall, tall trees. Looks like that one either rotted away or got struck by lightning. And there's a trailer or something over there, so that was not paranormal. I think. Alright. Kings Creek Cemetery. Still planning to come out here some night in the evening. Um, you're only allowed here till dusk, since it is part of a state park. But I'm probably going to come out in the evening sometime and do a low-scale uh, paranormal investigation. And like I said, there's really no reports of this place being haunted, but when I was here several years ago, I ran an audio recorder and captured an EVP. So that leads me to believe that it may, might be haunted. Definitely has the creepy factor to it. Alright, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more. Plan on posting a lot here in October. It's the most wonderful time of the year for a paranormal investigator. Alright, take care everyone. Stay haunted. Thanks for watching.